All right, so that's a wrap. The live stream is done. The sun is coming out. It's seven o'clock here in Hawaii, and we got some stuff we gotta do today. We gotta do some chores. Gotta handle some business. Gonna bring you guys along for a little adventure. The coffee bean, we got the jet ski all loaded up. We got the uh, Jeep Gladiator driving around right now, testing out the Jeep Gladiator. See what it's all about. I've never driven one, and I thought about getting one so I was like well maybe test out the old Jeep Gladiator here I'm in between cars right now I've got the Subaru still but I'm like maybe I want to get a truck but maybe I don't want a full-size truck because do I really need a big truck now we're gonna head to Haleiwa to the harbor and try to launch the jet ski and hopefully it still works The jet ski made it here, luckily. The trailer's a little sketchy right now, I'm not gonna lie, I got some problems. I got some problems on there, but then I don't have the right thing, and then, yeah, it's not the best situation right now. The sea -Doo has been having issues as well. We just got lots of problems up in here right now. I'm thinking if I was gonna get one of these Gladiators, I would probably get a gray one, like a dark gray. So let's get this jet ski in the water. We're gonna launch it, and hopefully it runs, and maybe take it out and drive around for a second. So if you're wondering why is my shirt off, I had to jump in the water because the rope that I put on the ski, the knot came undone. So as I launched the jet ski, it just went right out into the middle of the fucking harbor. You guys see the rainbow? There's a rainbow. Was that video of the guy? It's a double rainbow. It's a double rainbow. Only one rainbow. Sometimes you get a lot of rainbows, but only one rainbow right now. All right, we're out of here. Let's go. So something is definitely not right with my CD right now. If I go forward, the brake is engaged. I don't know what to do. We're not going anywhere, that's for sure. Basically, it's like the brake, for some reason, the brake is engaged. So like it's not coming out of. On a scale of one to 10, this was a epic fail. I kind of knew there was going to be an issue with the ski. I hadn't used it in a long time. It's been a couple of months since I've used it. And when they sit for a while, they just start having problems. So that's on me. I made that issue. There's this little like grate on the back there. And that was basically stopping us from going forward. And I don't fucking understand why it was down in the first place. We got it back on the trailer. We know we got problems. And we're gonna head home and get kind of washed up, cleaned up. The roads around Waimea are literally like driving off road. There's monster potholes and just like random holes and bumps. And the jet ski trailer is definitely not up to 100% in terms of like being trustworthy. I don't trust the jet ski trailer. And right now my, I wouldn't say my anxiety, but my anxiety of this jet ski trailer holding out and not falling, not the, not letting the jet ski fall off the trailer while we drive around Waimea here is peaking. Gonna wash everything down real quick and then kind of figure out what's gonna happen. It's supposed to rain more. The one day that I do the vlog just wants to pour down rain. The jet ski doesn't want to work. We're having problems, baby. Currently right now it's 3.30 in the afternoon. Well, 3.30 Eastern time and that's uh, 10 30 here in hawaii and putting on a trade here end of day got a little trade going trying to get a move down to the low of day again we got a short going right now Ow. got a short going here trying to get this move down i think we're gonna get it trying to get a break below 80 let's see what happens uh right now trying to move down there be a nice thousand dollar over a thousand dollar winner here if we can get it but it's getting touched there watch for two thousand dollars in profit live on the vlog right now <laughs> We're getting it, it's happening baby, let's go. This day's getting better already. We don't have so many, so many problems anymore. Now we're making money. And over $2,000 in profit here at the end of the day, $2,400 to be exact. The sun's coming out. The day's already getting better. It's becoming a better day just because, well, we just, I don't know, sometimes in the morning the, the market's crappy and the life's crappy and the, all that stuff. And look at, how can I complain? I'm living in paradise. I got my health, I got my wealth, I got friends. At least 
at least you guys are my friends, right? I might not have any real life friends, but at least I have YouTube subscribers that watch my videos every day. You gotta think about it, it's pretty crazy. Some of my YouTube subscribers, some of the guys in the chat on the live streams are literally, like I talk to them more than I talk to like my family. Like Roy Jenkins, like that guy's in the chat every day. Like we spend more time together than I spend with actual people in real life. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing or like a sad thing. Like if I should be sad that the fact that my only friends in life are the people in the live stream. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little edit from that trade, post up on Twitter, showing people, you know, like, hey, look how cool I am. So I'm gonna make a little edit and then I think we're gonna go work out. So let's get the edit done and then we can have some fun. Trying to get this little push back up here, 92 area would be a perfect short opportunity. Possibly get down there into the 70s, honestly. If you're long right now, everyone's got their stops below the 85 levels. Just drop right through 85. If we break 85 here again, I'm a little short. I'm gonna just add to it. We go 82s, beautiful. Like I said, we're going down, baby. Everything looking good right now. Let's get this move. We just gotta stay focused and stay in it. The moment, like right now I'm in the trade and it's like, do I take profit? I'm up $500, just get out of it, walk away, be done. Or do I focus on the plan? The plan here is we're gonna touch that low of day here and we're gonna stick to it. Tap into the area. I'm staying confident in it. I'm staying in it right now. It's the end of the day. It's, there's 77.50, so I would have gotten filled right there, but I'm going 76s because I think we're gonna keep water falling down here. There's a big buyer sitting there right now trying to hold this up. Six, but it's gonna go through it. Watch. 76.25, about to get filled here right here boom baby let's go patrick wheelan in the house so we got the little reel done we got the reel done for instagram we'll post that up on my not instagram not patrick wheelan on instagram and then we'll post it up on youtube for the youtube shorts and then we'll post it up on twitter as well and once we have that finished up that'll be our social media job working of the day the work is done after that so we're gonna get that posted up and then i'm ready to go Burn some calories, baby, burning calories. Do, 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 do. Favorite time of the day, my favorite place on the North Shore here at the Daniel Bachman's Fitness Emporium. We're gonna go do a little workout. Today is shoulder day, actually. I don't know why every time I do a vlog, it's always shoulder day. We're gonna get into it. It's kind of difficult going to the gym and being alone. My workout buddy, Shane Dorian, that was here for a while, he's now back on the big island. He was here for the winter time on the North Shore surfing and stuff and then I no longer have a workout buddy. So now I'm just alone, working out, all alone, by myself. I'm not sure why these local Wailua eggs are $9 for 18 while some other locally grown Oahu eggs are $9 but only 12 so this one's 18 why is that one the same price as the one that's 12. I don't know, but for some reason I feel like buying the more expensive one is the healthier option. So normally the grass-fed, locally raised beef, they normally don't have fillets. They just have like a, maybe New York strips and stuff. But today they had four packs of fillets. The fillets are $25 for two for the weight. So basically not even a pound, you're paying $25. But they're so much better than the other steaks. So we just gonna get them. We just gonna get the whole deal package. They, uh, eight steaks, eight steaks, 24 eggs. That should last us at least uh, two days. Two days with enough meat and eggs to uh, keep the body fueled up and proteined up here. So we just got home. You guys already know what the plan is. Time for a protein shake. I basically put protein powder, collagen, and ice in the blender. And it kind of makes like a frosty, like from Wendy's, like a little Wendy's frosty, so. Yard here, they've actually been clearing out some trees there. There's a bunch of trees that were there before and they're all cleared out now, a little bit more open. You can see how big the backyard is. All right, so it's four o'clock and 
I'm gonna make some eggs. We had the protein shake earlier around like one o'clock. Been working on the computer and just doing emails, whatever, random stuff on the computer and looking at trucks and I don't know, planning trips and all that fun stuff. So basically just relax in the last couple hours and gonna eat some food now. Try to get pumped up for the gym. One more session, baby. One more time at the gym. Let's make up some eggs here. Six eggs, protein. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, round two of the workout session today. Gonna get it in, just a little cardio and some heavy carries and stuff. So it's five o'clock, time to work out. Be a really interesting stat to know how many actual hours I've spent on this fucking bike. I would say a minimum, a minimum per day, I spend at least 30 minutes on this thing, at least. You guys are sitting at the computer all day you got to get that spine stretched back out you know we're sitting at the computer bent over the whole time but now i'm trying to work on my posture because i definitely have that rounded back from looking at the fucking computer the whole time so we're gonna hang at the bar for a minute we're gonna do this four times four sets one minute long holds on the bar I'll teach you about how to buy low, sell high. You're doing the, the wrong way. It's now six o'clock, we worked out for an hour. It wasn't too crazy, just kind of some mellow hangs and holds and moving around. And it's funny because uh, Hudson, the guy that I work out with at five, he actually day trades. And before I actually met him, he had seen some of my videos on YouTube. So when I did meet him, he's like, oh, you're the guy from YouTube. So that was kind of funny sun sets here in Hawaii I was driving home from the gym and passing a local spot I was like oh I'm gonna go down to the beach kind of ground myself with the planet feel the rocks beneath my feet hear the ocean in my ears and yeah see if we can't kind of uh, come out here in this little piece kind of like a I don't know maybe it's the irony that I'm filming a vlog trying to have, find peace, maybe. It's funny being back in Hawaii now after trading in Orlando for those week, or I think it was like a week, pretty much. I do prefer waking up early. As much as I hate it, at the end of the day, I love it. So like in the morning when I wake up, I'm like, oh, this sucks. But then by the time that it's over and I'm like, wow, it's only 7 a.m. I have the rest of the day to do whatever I want. Like that's a really amazing opportunity. And, you know, a lot of people don't have that opportunity. They got to work all day and then when they're done working, the day's over, they go home, they go to bed. Where it's here in Hawaii, as a trader, I can basically wake up at 4 a.m., trade, make money, and then just basically cruise the rest of the day. Go to the gym, go surfing, go work out, enjoy the day. So, here we are down at Shark's Cove on the North Shore of Oahu. Pretty popular tourist destination because of these crazy rocks. There's some whales out there right now. That's pretty cool. It's always good luck to see a whale. Maybe that means tomorrow we're gonna make some money in the market with the whale sighting. Or maybe that's not how it works. Right there, there's whales. I don't know if you can see them, but there's a couple whales out there blowing some, some stuff. So. I'm going to just take a little a, a moment here for myself to just watch the sunset and enjoy it. And, well, that's it. A day in the life. We're going to go home, eat some steak, go to bed, wake up tomorrow morning, and do the live stream. And I'll see you guys in the morning, whatever day it is. 9.15 a.m., you know where to find me, live on YouTube. Let's go.